Hi everyone, a friend of mine has sent me this question about testing a shopware site. She's getting you know, element detached from dumb error when the test is trying to click on the menu right about here. And Cypress complains that that element while you're trying to click is getting detached. Here's another screenshot of an error where she's trying to investigate what's happening. Now, I could not recreate that error specifically myself, but I'll show probably where it happens and how to prevent it. So the test is pretty simple. You log in into the Shopware site. I will have it running locally in a Docker container. And the test clicks on the menu item and then clicks on a submenu and checks that it ends up at the right place. So let's see how it runs. I have the test right here. So but before each, it logs in. And then the test finishes. As you can see, it passed. But let's take a look at individual steps. So this is the orders menu that it clicks first. And when it clicks, it expands and now has the sub-menu overview right right here. And then it takes that sub-menu and clicks on it and goes to the new page. And we confirm that the hash is there and that we are on the right page. If you look at the test, and before it fails, what happens? Well, it loads the application, right? It logs in and visits the admin, and that's what you know, loads the thing. Now, my friend is actually validating that the desktop uh, class is there and is visible. So it does wait for the desktop to appear. But if you look at right before we click on the first menu, what happens? Notice that right now the desktop is pretty bare. It has the menu on the left and some messages on the top right. Then you click on the menu, it expands, and there are a couple of Ajax calls from the application, and then you get the menu. Now notice that when it gets a sub-menu that it clicks and usually gets an error, your desktop has a lot more content on the right. It has a couple of charts. When are these charts loading? of a part of submenu. Now, if you look at the previous click, after, that's when the submenu appears and the charts are loaded. In fact, I believe those charts are loaded by one of those Ajax calls. All right. Probably the sales channel type. So just the fact that we are sorted the desktop classes there doesn't mean the application is done loading initial data and rendering on the screen. And so it happens in this case, as you load the order and it renders the menu DOM elements, it actually renders something else. And the order of the separations might be the opposite on my machine, on CI. The timing could be very different. Because we're not checking, we're not waiting for those charts to appear. When it loads the charts, it can re-render the menu. It's possible. It might re-render the whole thing. But one thing I will show you, I was inspecting those snippets and check out what we can do to kind of show what they do. We can say right here before we load everything, let's intercept all the gets to API and then locale equals English GB. Okay, so check this out. So we're intercepting these calls that happen a couple of times, including right here. And notice if we click on this intercepted call, the response, uh, no, let, let's just wait for it, that would make it clear. So I'll give it an Alice locale. And right here, we'll wait for it before we do anything else. Okay, so if we look at this request, right, it still is loading, right? And it, in fact, actually fires off after. Uh, we have a couple of calls, also oh, intercepting the last one. Okay, if we want to see what it does, why don't we stop it? So instead of allowing it to go through, let's just stop it with an empty string. Okay, now check this out. Right about here, when we expanded the menu, right? Let me remove a highlight. Do you see this? All our captions are no longer in English. Every time we click on the menu, it has default built-in kind of classes, right, as names, 
and it actually loads the captions, the labels for the menu items dynamically using those calls to the snippets locale. So that should give you a clue. Not only the charts are loading and the charts are requesting their captions in local language, the menu itself, when it renders, is getting the titles dynamically. And what happens when you request the titles dynamically? Application, when it receives the titles back, will re-render those dumb elements by putting the new text on them, right? Which means if you're trying to click it, all of a sudden, the Ajax calls to get the captions returns, the label is re-rendered, whatever you're trying to click gets detached from the DOM, because the DOM element has been updated. So what do we have to do? Well, the simplest thing is not even to wait for it, but in my mind, just to make sure that it works at one second delay. And I know, right, this is not supposed to, you know, be... Uh, part of Cypress experience to add those delays, hard-coded delays, right? But here's something else you can do, right? When it loads and it requests, right, why don't you check, you know, the menu item overview, right? Right now we're selecting them strictly by class, right? Why don't you do the following? Remove a weight and instead just say, what is this? Uh, overview, right? So you're actually using the label, and this only will become, um, you know, passing things only when the AJAX call finishes, the DOM is re-rendered, and the label is applied. After that, that DOM element should not change anymore, right? So notice it waited actually for the charts, and now everything is fine. And, and just in general, right, when you are just loading the application, make sure it's fully loaded. So in this case, if I look at what's happening right here, I want to make sure that the charts have finished loading. So I need to look at the markup. Okay, seems like it's a chart and there are two of them. So I'll say I get chart should have length greater or equal than two. So at least two charts should be there before I start clicking on the menu, because I know getting the data will force the page re-render, which might remove a DOM I'm trying to work with. So these are the two points, right? Make sure the page is fully loaded before you start interacting with it, and make sure that if there is something that specifically re-renders the elements that you're trying to click, but you wait for them to finish re-rendering them to be stable and then you interact with them.